let's get to work. Hey, so welcome back. So it's going to be about summer and uh, camper maintenance needs to be tended to. So I got a couple of these old plastic, well, one left. I, I made handles last year and forgot one apparently. So we're going to make another handle. We're going to use bent lamination. So I already have this form made. All it is is a couple pieces of plywood, as you can see. Cut to the shape of the handle minus the width that I need. When you're doing bent lamination, it's very important when you make your template to cut out whatever width it is of your material or it's not going to fit together when you put your half inch or whatever size material is in there. In there, Okay? So, I just traced it out both sides, zapped it out, and uh, have, have some packing tape on the edges. A lot of people get nervous with bent lamination. I don't really understand why, but uh, it's very fun, and you can do a number of different creative processes. But this is this is the basic we're going to start with today. Okay, cool. So let's get started. So the secret to bent, another secret to bent lamination is in making making your uh, strips. nice and small or thin so they bend easy and not crack now the straighter grain wood you have I mean this cedar is pretty pretty funky grain but um, the straighter grain wood you have the easier it is and the more successful you'll be in doing bent lamination for as small as these handles are and I'm gonna rip them really thin I think it's not going to be an issue uh, gonna use cedar just because this is the remainder of a really cool board and um, I'm kind of curious to see how it works but as you can see here the figure on it's um, it's pretty wonky so it'll either cut really nice or it just won't or bend really nice or it just won't so we're gonna try and if this works out then uh, it'll be an awesome video and if it doesn't work out then it's gonna be a video so I got this little piece of tape just so after each cut I can slide my fence over just enough where it touches the tape and I should have pretty consistent cuts. So as you can see, I got got them all laid out. Man, that's just that's a beautiful figure. So now is the moment of truth. So snap, I went a little too a little too far, a little too fast. That's alright. Cause from where it broke, we have plenty of room. So what I'm gonna do is get a bucket. I'm gonna soak these. And then we'll put them in here when they're nice and limber, pre-bend, let dry. So now I just got to find a bucket. All right, so as you can see, I got them soaking in a, a little bucket of water. Um, it's hot water. It doesn't have to be hot. I just find that it absorbs faster when it's hot. It's probably just a mental thing. 
So we're going to let these soak about 10-15 minutes and then we're going to put them back in the clamps and uh, not do it well. Well actually, that probably worked out pretty well so we'll, we'll put it back in a big clamp and then uh, see what happens. Alright, so they've been soaking for, I don't know, 10-15 minutes. Much more pliable as you can see. Pliable. Big word. Big word. Big word. I like big words and I cannot lie. Come on, honey, sing with me. That's your song. Uh -huh. My song oh, is. Oh, Lord. I just remembered. Oh, baby, you got what I need. gonna work? I don't know. It's not the correct answer, honey. <laughs> yes, it's gonna work. Look at that. for it to dry all right so as you can see it folded nicely now so now we just have to wait for that to dry I'll probably leave that oh six seven hours probably overnight all right today is still today we're going to unclamp these As you can see, it has a little bit of pre-bend to it. And since it still has a little moisture on the inside, I'm going to use some... What is this? Uh... Yeah. Which it needs to be... It needs to be heated. Let me go heat that up. Alright, so got her a little heated up. This jug's been around a while. Don't get it brushed on. You got a little bit of working time with this nasty stuff, but it uh, when it cures, like I said, it needs it needs moisture to cure. Doesn't need to be wet, but it needs a little moisture. bubbles today is now tomorrow it's time to break breaker free free look at that throw some holes in mounted up there oh I guess we should clean it up first
smells like licorice.